So I need to move these houses. I need to move Rory and Drift. So let's go do that to start off with. Let's go talk to Tom Nook. Oh look, Tom Nook wants to go outside. Oh, that's so cute. I've got, um, I'm playing in August, so it's like the fireworks festival and Isabel is outside at the moment with red. So look, Isabel's outside. So obviously Tom Nook wants to go outside as well. <laughs> So these are my houses at the moment. I've just kind of like plonked them up here. So drift, I'm just gonna put up here as well. I'm just gonna put the houses out the way for now. They're not gonna stay up here, but yeah, I'm just gonna, that'll be fine, stay here. Yeah, and then Rory's house. Yeah, let's do it. I wonder what he'll say. Capital is his catchphrase. Fine. Oh look, he's right there. <laughs> yeah, he can go right next to Drift. I honestly don't care. Rory's not staying on this island either. It's, it's not happening. He's not, he's not staying, he's gonna go. Yeah, it's all the way back here. <laughs> Ta-da! Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. So today we are going to do a park build. It is going to be by the beach, so we're going to decorate the beach as well. I hope you all enjoy it and let's go so to start off with i did this kind of cliff area this is going to be a building it took me forever to try and figure this out so i didn't do it on camera because it took me like a good hour so i'm kind of showing you, you now what i kind of figured out and then I customise the simple panels in this window effect and I'm using the medieval building side panels as the bases to kind of create a building. So the idea of this building is that it's kind of like a country estate building in my opinion because whenever I go to like seaside towns or like places on holiday, they've always got like these massive estates and then they always have these big parks that you can kind of like, or gardens where you can walk around. And that's what I was kind of thinking, like imagining. And yeah, so I was thinking like a really big grand building here. And then they've also got access to the beach as well, which you can kind of like sit and relax on. That's what I was thinking. And don't worry, I did miss one uh, panel at the front there. I am going to go back and build it up, don't worry. <laughs> So this bit is very green, it looks very bare, it's very weird. I have never done a build that is this bare, like usually all my builds are full of items, but yeah because it's a park it's not got anything in it really, it's weird.
and Teddy had to come and see what I was doing. Every item I put down, he kind of stared at it and he sat down on the benches I put down. He came over to stare at all of the toperies I put down. He was very funny. <laughs> like he was so interested in what I was doing. And then he came over and showed me a reaction, the sneezing reaction of all things. But yeah, he was like so intrigued at what I was doing. No idea why. <laughs> And then I put all the party lights around the park because there's a beautiful park where I am which has in the winter time it has well it has like a hedge lined park and then it has on the trees they have hung um, fairy lights all the way around this park and so in the winter it kind of lights up in the dark and it's so beautiful obviously you can't replicate that in animal crossing but i kind of wanted to get that that feeling across of when it's dark all these all these fairy lights kind of glow up um and i wanted to get that across some way so i thought that was the kind of the best option these party lights just either end because i wanted to get that feeling of going to the park near me and having these fairy lights light up in winter. They're so beautiful. Oh, and here, you might think I'm going crazy, but bear with me. It's going to be a public changing room or public toilet. So I saw this on somebody's cottage core as like their farm area. And I thought, wait a minute, that looks like a public changing room because the center looks like bricks so I did it and it looks like a changing room you can pull the curtains and you can go in and get changed how amazing does that look so I did it I added some simple panels at the back and I changed up the colors to make the the panels in the middle the bricks look more like mosaic bricks they look like mosaic bricks in the in the middle because the lines go horizontal so yeah and i used the curtain partitions to close it all off so you can't see the hay bales it looks really good <laughs> So it's not farm court anymore. You don't use it for farm court. You use it as a public toilet. I have changed the usage of it. It's mine now. I'm using it on beaches and beaches only. Yep. And then my beach is so bare as well. It's, yeah, I've changed the way I build. I'm just using it as people relaxing. I'm using the flowers as a few like um, seaweeds, sandcastles, um, beach towels. For the life of me, I couldn't move the beach towels. I kept lying on them, uh, like life rings because you need those on beaches. And yeah, it's awesome. I love the way this island is turning out. And this is me just putting up the last simple panel so that I don't forget to finish off the building. The plant partitions are there so it looks like there's a little balcony at the top. And then I add a little step there for the custom design just to finish it off.
and that's it so this is what it looks like when it's finished so you come through the lights and you've got the building on the left and you've got the beach and the white side on the right you've got all of the lights pretty and kind of like on the sides oh I forgot to add the plant partition I will do that now just so you can't kind of like walk that way in villages won't get stuck or anything that's kind of why I added that plant partition there you see them on beaches all the time as well so I thought that was a nice touch yeah and you can just see the like the balcony at the top as well so I thought it was kind of like a regal building and then for the beach I kind of kept it very very simple so like people just kind of hanging around just relaxing why rocket is sitting on that life ring I do not know hopefully she'll move oh there you go so yeah the um, kind of uh, changing room or like toilet area I think it looks really good I'm so impressed and then that um, that uh, Oh, what's it called that thing where you can like wash your feet I thought that would be quite good and then like yeah just like a relaxing beach area really hmm. <laughs> so I hoped you all enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you want to see more Animal Crossing videos and more videos of Seacross. I'm really enjoying this theme at the moment. Please don't forget to click on the right to see more Animal Crossing videos. I will leave some more uh, Seacross builds there for you. As always, have a fantastic rest of the day wherever you are and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!